What's good, YouTube? Everyone on YouTube here, back again once again, and today, today, we are here for episode number eight, I do believe, of our brand new Pokemon Violet Let's Play here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we made it here to Cortando, Cortando, I do believe is the name of the city that we are in, uh, but we just made it here. Uh, because we are looking forward to taking on our first gym. So if you missed on the last episode, definitely make sure to go back and check it out. If you're hyped for our first gym battle in today's episode, and of course, if we're going to show you support as a problem of the Lappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you're all ready. Go! Oh! Your support is greatly appreciated. Hey, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you as well, Siri. I, I appreciate all your help and all your hard work. Anyways. Quick team recap for you guys, you can see on the screen, last episode we had some evolutions. We have an Oinkalone now, as well as a Pomo. But we're still rocking Flamigo, Shudo, Crocalor, and Mashif. Ma <laughs> Mashif? Mashif, who's just our goodest boy. Uh, and wait, Mar Marai, Maria, da Ma wait, no, 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 no. I saw it earlier. And now, all of a sudden, I sit down to record, and I magically cannot remember anymore how to pronounce it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know, no, I'm not doing anything else. Miraidon. 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 That's how you say it. Miraidon. I think. I think I said it right. Anyways, yes, Miraidon is chilling here as well. Oink alone is just oinking alone, and I don't know whose Jigglypuff that is. That ain't my Jigglypuff. I don't know whose fucking Jigglypuff that is. But I am in a great and wonderful mood today and ready to sit back and play a little bit of brand new Pokemon. We went and did our first Spartan race today. <laughs> Your boy walked away with a medal. I mean, they give a medal to everybody, but still. Your boy walked away with a medal. He's a Spartan champion. I'm a Spartan champion. But yes, I had a great day today. This is your, did you get up and go outside today check? Because your boy did, and we walked away with some dope, dope, dopeness. I think I placed like 150 out of like 300 or something like that. So it's not like we did uh, incredible amazing things, but uh, I'm not trying to run. <laughs> I'm not trying to run, fuck that. Um, but anyways, yes, we're here in Cortando, Corton, or Cortondo, my bad, my bad, my bad, Cortondo, Cortondo, what, what is this? What, what the fuck is this? Excuse me, what is this whistle with legs that you have here? I want to go for a long walk, I can't speak to it. Winkalone, do you know what that Pokemon is? I need to do why. Okay, I'll come speak to you, I hear you over here screaming. Bro, I don't want to speak to you. I want to speak to your hair cross. It's like when I see somebody with a dog. I don't care about you. I want to talk to the dog. This is Gortondo. It's a nice round sounding name, isn't it? Like a lovely olive. Like a lovely olive. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a fuck about this city. I want to go see everything that's out there. <laughs> is this a sandwich shop? Hey, kiddo, would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? No, because I know you got the same shit that homeboy in the other place got, so I don't give a fuck about you. We can go in here? Never mind. We can't. We can't go in here. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's not for us. It's not for us. <gasps> I think that's for us. But you know, in all honesty, I kind of want the squad to get, uh, like, at least to level 20. I mean, we're almost level 20. It's not a Nuzlocke, is it? We can revive in the battle. <laughs> but I do, I have to, I'm sorry. I cannot just walk past all of this shit that's here. I know we're, we're working our way to the gym. We're going to explore Cortondo. Is this the Spanish? Is this the one that was av uh, available in Spain? Because if it isn't, it's the plot hole! What does it say? Anything we want. What should we do? Anything we want. Can we swim? Oh my goodness. What? He can surf? I didn't know that. How come you can't fly? This motherfucker can go in water? I didn't know that. What the fuck? And look at Oink alone on her little floaty. Come on over here, girl. Is Oink alone a girl? Oinkalone's a boy. Okay, you know what? Come on over here, bro. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Yo, I did not know he can surf. 
Wow, the all-terrain Pokemon. Get yourself a me right on today. Yeah. Are all y'all jealous? Are you jealous? Look at this sick dope bike we've got here. <laughs> Yo, speaking of, so uh, you know how I mentioned uh, last episode or episode before or whenever it was? Yo, they got all these fucking Vivillons vi here. Vivillon? I've heard that Vivillon look different based on where they're from, so I wonder where these fellows came from. Ah! Plot hole! Or the more, I mean, not plot hole, um. Another piece of the puzzle, we know these aren't from Spain. Can I get on this roof? Bro, don't tell me you can't jump on roofs. Come on. Come on! Can't get up there, bro? Is it blocked? Like how you conveniently just can't jump high enough. Hmm, is that your fault or Game Freaks? Mm -mm. Are they trying to nerf your wild spirit? Ah, I'm so scared! I'm not ready! We're not ready for a gym battle yet! Whoa, this what is this apothecary here? Y'all sell spider webs? <laughs> Everyone loves them. Whoa, these sweets they sell at Saltberry. They're so good and so popular. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Um, so I might have mentioned this a couple episodes ago, but yeah, like in between episodes, Hector's playing Scarlet right now, so like That's how I knew that Scarlet has Professor Sada. And, whoa, no, 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 cortondo, cortondo, yes, don't, don't tell me I'm in a new area, because I will forget all about the area I'm in, and try me, I will, what the fuck is that, no, don't look at it, don't look at it, don't get curious, I will go over there, and I will never come back to this gym, we will never get anything done, ever, this is some more, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you like that, my bad, damn, hit the other one just for good measure, what y'all doing up here? Hey, this is nice. This little rooftop. Oh, am I making you dizzy? This little rooftop jungle gym up here. Okay, I like it. Can we fight up there? Can we have our gym battle up there? Can I whoop your ass up there, bro? What is this, Flabebe? Bay? Flabebe. Bay Bay. You have the Pokemon Flabebe Bay that can carry different colored flowers, right? Could you trade me a Flabebe Bay for my Schnom? Any color of the flower is fine by me. Um. Okay. Wait. Again, be nice if there was a guidebook with a handy list of side requests available. But you know what? That's why we have sticky notes. I'm going to write Violet Quests. And we have in Cortondo, we need a Fla Bay Bay for a Snom. Snom? Um, I don't have it right now, yo. Uh, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be back though. I'll be back. Um, anyways, bring back the pin for a third time. Yeah. So Hector plays Scarlet in between, and I went and watched him, and he has the Scarlet version of this. I think it's Miraidon, Coridon, or something. That motherfucker, like, yo, I'm just saying, we definitely got the cooler version. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I don't like his design, but he like gallops. Like, bro, this is a bike, not a horse. I'm just so glad that we got the Latios treatment and just tuck our legs up and just scoot around on our fucking jet bike. Hell yeah. So does that mean when he goes in the water, does he, like, doggy paddle to swim? Yo, know, I don't understand why you turn the jets off. Hit them jets again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Everybody say, hey, yo. Fuck you doing? Okay, Cortondo, you are beautiful, you are lovely, you are nice. Let's talk to this hair across. We use this truck here to transport the olives we grow. You wouldn't believe how busy things get come harvest season. Oh, look at that. It's a little Pokemon Center. Your Pokemon are hurt? What are you, a thug? When your Pokemon are hurt, heal them. When you see a shop, buy up supplies. Those habits are the key to happy adventure. Yo, actually, speaking of. No, 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 no. I just, I just whipped that bitch around. I'm sorry. I mean, talk to you. Try to talk to you. So I was saying uh, that we can uh, revive. Oh, I don't want to buy revives. I have seven of them. No, we're not buying that. We're not buying that. I said we're not buying that. Fuck no, not nah, we not buying that. I said we not buying that. Um, I don't know what LP does in this game. Is that rarer? 
I feel like it's rarer because I don't think I've spent any LP yet, but I know I've definitely had like 12,000 cash before or something like that. So I'm definitely going to say that's rarer. What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. I know I said we're taking on a gym, but look at this big ass fucking basket. You expect me not to look at it? This fucking sardine can What the fuck is this? Uh, it's got the gym logo on it, right? Is this where we're gonna fight? Do I have to keep you from scoring a goal? Whoa, what the fuck is this giant bean? Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! No, you bastard! You bitch! I was doing good with it for a second. Yeah, they tell me they put Rocket League in Pokemon. Oh, uh, what, 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 what? Bro, why do you just, you go towards the goal and then just dis... like what the fuck and you know what never mind i'm gonna guess this just is not for me yet but hey we got some practice in there so fuck yeah but that's kind of annoying that the moment i get it in there it disappears fuck okay enough's enough we've seen cortando very lovely town oh my god the olives just mm, mm. put them on my pizza yes 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 it's shiny small if black i hope it's black I gotta have Smallows on the gym. So wait, this is a... Bug type? Oh yeah, it's got the thing on the map. This is a bug type gym. I couldn't remember if it was bug or grass. Hola! Como estas? I like to pick up a gym badge today. We don't have to battle because I'm going to whoop your ass. Hey, look, there's that whistle again. Oh my goodness! Oh hey, Nappy! Hola! Bueno. Came to see this gimnasio, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take out the Pokemon League, aren't you? Hell yeah. Who the fuck is that dude on screen? Snacking down on that cupcake. What the fuck? Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle a gym leader, you gotta pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. You can use them. Consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Hey, thanks. Hey, Miss Ellie's in storage. Yeah, girl. She got a... Oh, I thought she had on two different shoes. It's the yellow from the text box. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion, too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited. I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. Okay, girl, damn. Appreciate it, girl. All out offense. I like the way you talk. <laughs> blocking? What's blocking? All out offense using a Pokemon that's strong against bug types. This one right here? Evolve it. Yo, evolve it. Hey, what are you? Oh, it's not a whistle. Is it like a grasshopper? I mean, it's next to a cricket tune. Am I reading too much into that? That it's another musically inspired Pokemon? Is it a cricket whistle? Carefully, you don't end up rolling a small of instead of the olive ball. Is that what I was doing back there? Is that the gym test? Wait, hold on, bro. I want to talk to you. Well, look at these Vivillon or Vivillon over here. Welcome to the Cortondo gym. Is this the, is this Clyde? Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Nappy, yes? <laughs> is he the same in every gym? Because if he is, he's Clyde. Great, and now, in order to face the gym leader, Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cortando Gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in the Cortando. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. 
Pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your effort should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staff over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun. Okay, buddy. Thanks. Um, so what if I just did the olive roll? <laughs> what if I just did the olive roll? And uh we don't necessarily need to do we do we do we do we need to do it again? Take part in the olive roll. I wish there was a booster button on this thing. Like how how do you go faster, bro? That's it? Will we zoom out? If I'm higher, does it feel like we're going faster? <laughs> Hello, knock knock. Where is homeboy, buddy boy? Take part in the olive rolling. Oh wait, I was gonna say, is this the right place? <laughs> Am I making assumptions? Try the olive roll right here. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you're all filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Yeah. Wait, she said various obstacles? Great. Put in a put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. Oh, damn. Um, can I use me right on? Can I use them? Please? Hey! Whoa, this is not, whoa. Uh, okay. Fuck yeah. Could you imagine if they didn't let you use him? <laughs> I'd be livid, what the fuck? Are these trainers? Are these people that want their ass whooped? Is that what I'm hearing and seeing? Hold on. What you doing over here, girl? Hell, oh, here. I'll open up a shortcut for you if you manage to defeat me. Let's see if you can get past my wall of small of. You know, this would have been harder if they were all that tall. How come they're not all that tall? Gym trainer Esmeralda? Cool. How come all the walls aren't that tall? Because I could just knock this shit over, so like, Fuck is up. So I gotta battle this other guy to get in there, and I see the smalls in the basket too. All right, Oink Cologne, it's time for you to fuck this cricket tune up. So, um, I wanted to mention to you guys now that we have this uh, brief moment here. Lingering aroma clings to the opposing cricket tune. So that's like mummy. Lingering aroma is like money, money, mummy. <laughs> Uh, I'm not mad at it. I didn't even think about looking at abilities on these new Pokemon. Maybe we should. Maybe we should check out our team and know what we're, we're, we're rocking with. Um, but uh, a couple of you guys were saying that apparently, even though you can do the gyms in any order, they don't scale. So I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm just going to ride around and see what we can do. But I heard that we're supposed to do the gym battles first then the team star and then the titan pokemon um i feel like titan pokemon sound kind of scary so i think i might try to do them last anyways i don't know initially my initial plan was to um do like two gym badges and then go do a team star and a titan and then two more gym badges and then maybe like Two team star and another titan and then two more gym badges and then like the last two team star and another titan or maybe two titans where does that put us at three or four titans i don't know i wanted to make it so that we started with gyms and ended with gyms and just sprinkled the rest throughout there but that's gonna really suck if the gyms don't scale like that because in all honesty that kind of sort of makes the game less open world you know i feel like the whole I mean, I don't know. To me, I feel like well, the first thing I hear when I hear open world Pokemon is gyms in any order. You know, like, obviously there are certain tropes that come with open world, but Pokemon specifically, I feel like first thing that comes to mind is, oh, I don't have to follow a set path and take on gyms in this specific order. 
but if they don't scale with your level if the first gym is always going to be level 20 whether it's your first badge or your eighth badge who the fuck is going to want to take on a team of 20s for their eighth badge after i have a team of 60s 70s whatever that's no challenge it's no fun that's nothing at all so like what the fuck game three what the fuck <laughs> like that doesn't even make sense i feel like it's not that difficult to program it in to say like okay the trainer has x amount of badges so here are your pokemon and that means that they're going to be between these levels and these levels randomize it so like maybe I, i'll take on this next gym gym leader as my fourth badge so it says okay all the pokemon need to be between level 45 and 55 or something like that whatever i think that's a little high for a fourth badge or at least for a regular pokemon game it's a little high um and then just randomize it you know it's the same pokemon same moveset same whatever just randomize the levels and let people just do it as they go that's true open world but the feeling that i get with this game is very reminiscent to x and y the first time i played it where it feels like it's so very 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 wildly ambitious they're just not there yet so i don't know I, I don't know if patches could fix this or if maybe the next generation will be the true crispy fine-tuned one but regardless none of those things have lessened my impression of this game i don't know if you guys know this but i love this game <laughs> so for me as long as the issues aren't game breaking like it keeps me from playing the game successfully i mean i guess i'm okay with that i mean i grew up where video games ran like shit anyways <laughs> and their graphics look like shit have you gone back and played the first god of war in a while have you gone back and played any game from the 90s in a while like i don't know I, I, either way we're going down a rabbit hole with that point i'm making is I love the game i wish it were polished off a bit better but we didn't have our first badge yet so try not to be too judgmental with that performance i'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year i'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared congratulations please report your results to the lobby staffer at the gym good luck in your battle against katie uh, you need to give katie the luck not me whoa 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 almost ran into a herd of Igglybuff, Jigglypuff, and Fido's. Dang, y'all just live like this? This how y'all live? <laughs> this how y'all live? Like this? Como estas? Muy bien. A2. Alright, out of the way. Don't worry about your damn fly, baby. You'll get it when you get it. How's that? Knock, knock! I'm here for a gym badge, por favor. Please and thank you. Hey, I did it. How do I get to the gym now? Welcome back, Nappy. I hear you on a roll out there. Ha <laughs> ha A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Katie, the sugar bug? I said I want to get everyone in 20, but I feel like we're good. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. We should have led with our boy, uh, Alberto. A lot of you guys, I named him Albert. You guys are like, Alberto, it's right there. Crocalor, a.k.a. Alberto. That's what we'll go by. He will forever and always be Alberto. Alberto. Oh, this is the gym. Oh, you know, I was wondering what the fuck is up with that. Oh, wow. Eat up, my cute little Vivian. Wow. Okay. She kind of looks like she could be Pam from Archer's Daughter. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Pat Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortondo Gym right now. Forgive me. <clears throat> my name is Katie, and I am the gym leader here in Cortondo. Okay. 
Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet powerful. Very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Are you done talking? I'm trying to battle on this dope ass court. This is my first gym badge. Gimme. Ooh, this music. All right, Katie, let's get it. Nimble, <gasps> the whistle. I've been waiting for this. Nimble, I need to catch a Nimble. Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. If you threaten me one more time. Yo, can this dude get out of my camera? Like, bro, you are not on the team. Um, so she's got level 14s? Oink alone. Fuck that Nimble up, what the hell? Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. To oh, and someone told me how to pronounce this. One of you guys have to comment. It's Tarantula. Like round, like a ball. I can't even remember what I said before. Tarantula? Tarantula. Um, do we need to swap? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's rock out with Oink alone here. You're killing the game, bro. You're killing the game. Tarantula. You had a spot on our squad, but not anymore. What do you think it's gonna do? Except get rid of your insomnia. Get out of here. Go on, be gone. Bye, bye, bye. So wait, does every gym leader, um, have a terastalized mon? Teddy Ursa, will you swap Pokemon? Hey, you know what? This is Flamigo! It's Flamigo's time to shine! Flamigo! Get your culo out here and start kicking! Hell yeah! Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? I get it. It's a double pun. Because how should I roll things out? Like, I'll roll and she's a pastry chef. She roll... She Never mind. This is her last Pokemon. Isn't she a bug type trainer? Why does she have a Teddy Ursa? Let's fuck this Teddy Ursa up. How you like me now? How you like me now? Check it out. Check it out. Bling bling. Every time I come around, just say they bling bling. Look at that. You ain't never seen 12 carat, 74, 100 carat. 7 million carat balloons before. Now, my little Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. Is this a glitch? Like, why does she have a... She called, told Teddy Ursa to come out of its cocoon? Is this a... Bug Terra type? Because that looks like Nintendo to me. That looks like a bug. So, I'm learning things right now. Hold on. So, it's typing changes when it Terra's? Because now this is not very effective. This music sounds just like the Sword and Shield when they Gigantamax and you're in the stadium and they're rooting for you. Uh, and that fucking, whatchamacallit, the gym test, didn't they have that in Sword and Shield too? But you know what? That's fine. Be a bug type. <laughs> Be a bug type if you want. That's cool with me too. Oh, he was singing for a second. Okay, I need to understand these terror types because all the Pokemon that I've looked at, their terror types are the same as their typing. So, how do you get a Teddy Ursa that's a bug terror type? All of my sweet Pokemon drop like flies. Thanks. Appreciate it, Joe. I like how your little hair looks like a cocoon too. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Hell yeah, girl. Cortondo Gym Defeated! Is that the badge? 
Are all the badges just going to be gold with the typings in the middle? Because I would tell you, no, I don't like that. I liked it when they were designed to the typing better. But thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, look at that, you guys. Look at that. That? You know what that is? Did you, you know what that is just now? Progress. Look at us. Look at us right now. Who would have thought we'd be here making progress? With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Pounds? TM21? The user attacks by pouncing on the target. This also lowers the target's speed stat. Once you've found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Hey, thanks, girl. Off you go, then, until we meet again. Bye, girl. Catch you later. Idea. Rotototo. Put a pin in that idea. Hold on. Hey, hey, Nappy. Bueno. Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How do I go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes! Ja, 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 ja. I mean, it was obvious you are going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job. Pass me. I'm training hard too, by the way. Day and night. Going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map out. It helps with a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Baldia. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want a battle if we run into each other. Ooh, she wants to fight. Um, so, hey, by the way, um, co episodes go. <laughs> we are back at the Uva Academy. And we're reading a whole bunch of books, and I was saying, Where's the Violet book? Where's the Violet book? Where's the Violet book? Um, some of you guys left a comment saying that it was there, and apparently I missed it. So I kind of want to go and check it out. Um, I know that we can fast travel there, teleport there. Um, but I just want to do it before I forgot. And can you believe we are stressed about that, Jim? Look at our squad. Look at our squad. Can you believe we were stressed about that, Jim? Um. Oh, thanks for charging up our Terra Arba. Oh my God. Um, but let's try it out now. Let's try it out now because we have not ever done that. Don't show me the Pokemon's out here. Let's just put them on in the air, I mean. Where did it say we went to? Oh, we went to area two, back out to area two. Okay. So Pokemon is in here. Pokemon League. Whoa, hold on. That's over that way. Is that what that big ass building I keep seeing is? Is that the Pokemon League up there? Do you see that Pokemon flying? I wish I could zoom in right now. Do you see that Pokemon? Like, look at the mountain in the middle of the screen. Do you see that Pokemon flapping next to it? What the fuck? Why can't I peep this Pokemon? Why can't I, like, zoom in and see what the fuck is going on? Ugh. Okay. Um, let me... Can we... Fly here. Fuck yes. Take me there. I wanna go there. With the Squawkabilly Taxi? Hmm. Some of you use Corviknight Taxi. <laughs> I use a Squawkabilly Taxi. And Squawkabilly has four different colors. Don't act like I didn't see that. Don't act like I didn't see that. It's like Uber and Lyft. You have Squawkabilly and Corviknight. Okay, so let's go see if we can find this book. I gotta get a new notebook. Who would have thunk it? We'd be back here. Mm, ain't that a bitch? Who would have thunk it? Back here at school. Blech. Blech. <gasps> Never mind, I'm so happy to be back. Ay, 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 ay. No, stop talking to me. Ay, 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 ay. Look at him. Ginga, 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 
Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga, Ginga. Look, I'm dressed like you. My skin tone almost matches your eyes. It's almost. It's like I'm a super saturated version of your eyes. Ginga, Ginga, Ginga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, where is this purple book? There is a purple book on a center column somewhere. I think that's. It, is this it? Could this be it? The violet book? Bitch! It's the violet book! The mysterious purple tome. Do you want to read it? <clears throat> Which section would you like to read? <gasps> oh my god! The great crater of Paldea. The great crater of Paldea. A photograph from the survey team's point of ingress to the crater, which is visible in the background. Luck favored us with fine weather, making for a smooth outset, but clouds obscured the crater's distant depths where the treasure of legend is said to lie. Now, onward and downward. The adventure into Area Zero. Within the great crater of Paldea lies the mysterious Area Zero, a place home to such landscape, such plant life, and such Pokemon as we had never seen. It is inhospitable to human life, and as such, I suspect something altogether unknown to humankind sleeps in its depths. Listen. After Gen 5 dealing with Kiram and Deoxys in that crater, I ain't scared of nothing inside of a goddamn crater, bitch. Whoa, it's that second page? A photograph of a spot where the survey team rested on day two of the expedition. Note the strange symbols inscribed in the ground here. Were they left by explorers in the time of the Paldean Empire? Or could they be old older still? Regardless, they seemed as if they must hold some meaning. Paldean Empire. Oh, the lore. I'm loving it! Area Zero, cart <sighs> cartograph. <laughs> I want to say cartography. <laughs> Ledges from a spiral down the inner walls of Area Zero, offering a path of descent. Vegetation and sources of water are here as well. Legends tell us precious stones or wondrous fruits have long slept in Area Zero's depths, protected by some manner of guardian. Hey, it better look just like this. There better be Herba Mystica down there. Yo, wouldn't there be some crazy shit at the Herba Mystica we don't find until here? This motherfucker wants to go us to fight all these goddamn Titan Pokemon. Herba Mystica's in the middle of the goddamn country all the while. That treasure chest better be there as well. They told us to go on a treasure quest. The treasure chest better be at the bottom. Some Guardian? You think I skipped out on that? I saw that. Pokemon of Area Zero. We got Area Zero Pokemon. Is that a gorilla? Don't act like I don't see that! That's a gorilla! Is that a block with a face? What the fuck? Uh, but I got a Palmo. And I see a Flamigo as well. We have Area Zero mods on our team. <laughs> Sketches by a survey team member. Surprisingly, the Pokemon species we observed in the upper strata of Area Zero seemed a little different from those seen outside the crater. Now and then, we heard unfamiliar cries from the lower strata. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at all these chapters! Okay, hold on, let's get this ball rolling. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this for photograph by chance. I notice a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. But we read that one before, upstairs. Herba Mystica. Ooh. Turn the Eevee into Gibble? Give me some of that. Herba Mystica. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Oh, so we have to take out the Titan Pokemon and then chop them up and eat them, right? Isn't that what they did? Isn't that the same story of uh, Talukutan or how you pronounced it? Uh, Namor? Namor. <laughs> and all his people, didn't they eat some Herba Mystica? And they turned blue. Now y'all out here doing it too. Mysterious plates. Are these Arceus plates? During our descent into Area Zero, we came across a buried metal plate inscribed with a strange symbol. We attempted to shave off a piece of the plate but failed to leave even a scratch. Even determining the nature of, of the metal seems beyond modern science. We know not why the inscription was made, let alone how. 
The legendary treasure. Countless days until our descent we reached at last, the very depths of the great crater. There we found a cave with formations of gemstones shining blindingly bright as far as we could see. Perhaps that strange light itself is the guardian said to watch over treasure deep within the crater. Hmm. An imagined Pokemon. What the fuck is that? Bro, hold on. Time out. Wait, 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 wait. I'm seeing the face of Verizion. I'm seeing the horns of a Terrakion. I'm seeing the legs of a Terrakion. Uh, I, I guess the body of a uh, Cobalion? Does his tail look like that? Kind of sort of looks like a Dialga. <laughs> Almost. No, Dialga got a big ass tail, right? Looks like Dialga's uh, foot coming out of his ass over there. Anyways, a drawing of a fantastical Pokemon as envisioned by our sketch artist. The compactness and cruelty of the strange Pokemon that dwell in Area Zero's lower reaches tickled the artist's imagination, prompting the sketch of what other species that inhabit these depths might look like. So, this is not real, is what I'm hearing. This fucking, uh... Th this is the Sword of Justice. Did, they, did you take the DNA splicers to all four of them and put them together well i don't see nothing kelly you want here so <laughs> good thing he got left out though but still is this supposed to be like an easter egg type thing like it's not actually in the game or is this like hinting that there's something else there that you know you gotta spend some time and they're running through the bush and you might find it type of thing you know hmm i mean it looked dope i catch it <laughs> a phantom memory during our exploration of area zero's depths i Heath stayed strayed from the team and was later found unconscious. When awoken, I could only recall speaking with someone in an unfamiliar place, as if in a dream. I was found holding the pages shown here. The handwriting is my own, but I have no memory of writing this. Uh, okay, so that top, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagonal shape, kind of, sort of looks like that door with the chain that we saw. Um. On the bottom right, I see a crown, and in all honesty, uh, that little image right there looks like it could either be like a like a tunnel, like the doorway where all the lines are, and then it goes inward. I don't know why you would draw a 3D tunnel like that. Or, looks like a DNA splicer. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Telling you, our generous sponsor, the author, Heath, pictured with the director of Uba Academy. The Academy's generous funding made the Area Zero expedition possible, and the data gathered has been shared with the Academy in hope that it will aid in the institution's research work and foster future generations of scholars and scientists. Damn, okay, let's load up another one about the author. Ooh, I see you with your Cyclazar. Heath, author of the Violet Book, shown here with his partner Cyclazar. A natural historian as well as a writer, he was chosen for the Area Zero expedition and penned this account upon returning from the great crater of Paldea. Paldea. Cyclazar aided the expedition as well by bearing the team's luggage and equipment. Okay. 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 A what, Pokemon? What the fuck? While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even living or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a... Uh, it bore a... Sill? I don't know what that word is. It, it's one It's one letter worded out, right? I was gonna say shell, but uh, I don't think that's S-N-H. It bore whatever, <laughs> with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleed, gleed, gleed. I don't know what that word is either. What the missing letter is brighter still than imstone. M. What? Viewed? No, that's definitely viewed. So it's more than one letter. Okay. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons. Yeah, there's an X and an A there. Hexagons, and gleamed brighter still than. I don't know, that could be any sort of stone. Limestone? <laughs> gemstone? Gleamed brighter than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. Alright. 
All right. I hope you run into all this later. All right. Worth it. Thank you. Thank you to whoever uh, encouraged us to go back and check that out. Uh, but you know what? We're here now. Let's take a class real quick. Let's do history because you know how much I love history. You like history with Miss Reifert? Let's go. What do we get for going to class? Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. What you mean? You're taking me there. <laughs> you taking me to class. Get me up there. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the one that didn't want to speak to me. She looks like a history teacher. Oh, I see we have some new students here with us today. My name is Ryford. I will be the one to impart knowledge of the past to your little minds. History is a wonderful thing, truly splendid. The lives of our ancestors throughout history forged the path to the present in which we live. Today you shall learn about the most mysterious location in all of Paldea, the Great Crater. As you are all aware, a massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea exists at the heart of our region. The area inside this crater is called Area Zero, and research of its geological strata and material. Pause. Is that what's his face from Legends Arceus? Hisui? Uh, what's his name? Oh gosh! I can't remember his fucking name. Laventon. Laventon's on the board. Oh, uh, because he'd be old as shit at this point, right? That's the original Pokeball. Oh, because she's teaching history! Duh. <sighs> and the research of its geological strata and material composition has been shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. It was long believed that a certain something rested at the bottom of this mysterious crater. Aha, uh -huh. perfect timing to make eye contact, young nappy. Answer me this, what exactly was believed to rest in the depths of the great crater inside Area Zero? Well, I'm gonna guess there's probably a Pokemon Center. I would not be surprised if there's a Snorlax and he just fell from a different dimension and made the crater, but just because we read the book, treasure. <laughs> that is correct. You are a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you did your homework prior to coming to class. That's right. Some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in the world rested in the depths of the great crater. So much for dreams of treasure hunting, though, as a lab has been built in those very same depths. Oh. And before I forget, you would all do well to remember that the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off limits to all but those who have official business there. Do not dare entertain the foolish notion of gallivanting off to Area Zero in search of riches. It is no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. Besides, if it were at all possible to investigate the area, I would surely be the first to do so. Oh, is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. Today, this ends today's lesson. We will unravel more of history's enigmas together next time. Wow. I loved it. I loved it. I love this game. I loved it. It has a history class. First Pokemon game with a history class. I love this game. Woo. We took a class. God damn. Okay, let's take one more since we're here. Because <laughs> now I'm curious. <laughs> we had six. I'd like to revisit a class. Oh, we have six classes total? Okay. Bing. I did. Oh, we have history two. Never mind. There's only five classes total. <gasps> oh my god, we have history two. Okay, I'm gonna take one more. Let's take. Uh, I feel like Homek is gonna talk to us about sandwiches. Battle studies will be shit we already know. We could do history again. Uh, math. <laughs> Not interested. Biology. You're gonna tell me about the biology of a new Pokemon. Biology with Mr. Jacques. But he's my homeroom teacher. So what Pokemon is there in Pokemon Scarlet? Is it a Magmar? Instead of a Gengar sitting next to it, is it a Magmar? And Ryford? I don't know, I don't know if I got that voice across right, but I wanted her to be like that, like, uh, I feel like everyone knows someone like this, like that chakra lady, you know, like she's like in tune with the earth and life and vibes and everything. She's got incense burning in the room. She's gonna, do all this extra stuff to cleanse the area before we teach and that's how I was trying to convey her you know like hey everybody welcome back hello hello my name's Jock and I'll be your Pokemon biology teacher in my class we'll all learn about the various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the third from the things you learn here in today's class I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon in more depth if you like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of their Pokeball and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? 
you can use the ZR button to throw a Pokeball and let out the Pokemon inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around underfoot, if you ask me. Once you let your Pokemon out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to get, the, get to know them better. However, letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't such a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where it is that you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Uh, inside buildings! That's right! Great job, Nappy. I see you did your homework. The correct answer is that we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings, so it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs while outdoors. Okay, everyone? I think I see them out and about in classrooms from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. Remember, use the ZR button to throw a ball and let out the Pokemon inside. You'll also want to remember that throwing a ball at a wild Pokemon will start a battle. It looks like that's all the time we have for today. See you all next class. Deuces. That was not what I thought it was going to be at all. I was expecting, and maybe this is expecting too much of Game Freak, but I wanted to see like a cross dissection of like an Axew or something on the board. Like, can we, are we going to get to uh, dissect any Pokemon? Can we get a couple uh, Poliwhirls on the table? <laughs> Died of natural causes. You know, when I was in... 10th grade, I think? No, it might have been 11th. I just know I had to take chemistry for human anatomy, and chemistry was a bother. It's a second math class, like, imagine that. But I did it. I think I got a C in that class. But I passed chemistry, um, so, because it was a prerequisite for human anatomy, and we dissected cats in human anatomy. I know people, I think I dissected a frog once too, but we, I remember that because it was, we dissected cats and we kept the cats for the whole school year. So we would take it out, right? And then whatever body system we were learning about, we would dissect the cat that way. So if we're learning about the brain, we dissect the brain. We're learning about the digestive system, we di uh, dissect that. And then she would take the cats, spray them with formaldehyde, put them back in these plastic bags, zip them up, and put them in a freezer and until or a fridge or something and then two months later when we got to the next dissection she pull them out again grab your cats we're cutting them open today anyways i don't know where that came from i don't know why i decided to share that but i think i'm gonna wrap today's episode here oh biology <laughs> human anatomy biology same thing uh, but we're gonna wrap up today's episode here. We're back in Cortando, ready to explore the countryside north of the city. Uh, not 100% sure where we want to go just yet, but I think my next uh, objective is I want to explore all of this brown that's right here. Like, I know we explored most of this already, but I want to get up in here. I want to get uh, down here and see what's going on. Oh, I don't know. This is the river. Maybe not. Maybe not. But anyways, I want to explore maybe all this brown and up here too. And then, uh, are we go heading this way next? Al Fornada Gym? I mean, I don't know what order that's supposed to be in. I don't know if she's going to have level 70s or some shit. But we can head there next. Uh, and then maybe we can swoop around and come back over to here. And maybe maybe we'll use... Uh, can we use this... Uh, what's the city name? Levin Levincia. Can we use that as like our halfway... Levincia to the Asado Desert. So we're going to try to... I think, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to head down this way next and then swoop back around past the beginning. Back up into here. Clear all of this out. And then we're going to jump back over to this side and continue with West Province and then continue up this way. That is the plan for now, okay? I'm going to try it. We're going to do it. We're going to make it happen and get it done. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Violet, and of course, when you show your support as a private of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you're already out. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I will catch you guys next time. Until we see each other again, thank you so much for your love and light, and be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye!